I'm Carolyn Ho. I'm the medical director of the Cardiovascular Genetic Center at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to be talking about the role of genetic testing in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. What should every patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy know about genetic testing? Well, there are a lot of different reasons to that any particular patient or family may be interested in pursuing genetic testing. And I think that it's important for all people involved, the patient, the family, their um, caregivers and physicians, to understand what how genetic testing might help that particular family and make sure that everybody has the appropriate expectations going into the testing about what can be learned and also importantly what cannot be learned by genetic testing. Why should genetic testing be considered? Genetic testing can be considered in a broad variety of circumstances for patients with HCM. Um, some patients and families um, like to use genetic testing to try to understand why their hearts may have changed um, in that way and to better understand if, um, you know, the exact cause for the changes that have been affecting their families. Other people may be interested in trying to be able to predict which of their relatives may be at risk for developing the condition. Should every patient with HCM have genetic testing to confirm their diagnosis? Whether or not to pursue genetic testing in HCM is a very personal um, decision. Um, some people are very interested in obtaining information and feel empowered by um, gaining more information and have families that are very interested in pursuing um, confirmatory or predictive genetic testing. And I think that in those situations, genetic testing can play a very valuable role. In what situation would you most strongly advise genetic testing for a patient with HCM? Um, so genetic testing can play a powerful role in trying to help certain families understand why they may have developed HCM. And, um, Families may consider it if they have a particularly strong interest in trying to understand that reason and trying to really drill down and become as specific as possible in understanding why their hearts may have changed um, so much and why um, certain family members may be at risk. Um, and genetic testing may be particularly attractive uh, for certain families where HCM has had particularly serious outcomes, um, families that have suffered um, a high incidence of needing cardiac transplantation or um, where uh, family members have had um, sudden cardiac death. In those instances, um, genetic testing can really help us become more definitive about what might have caused HCM and which family members may be at risk so we can target them early on with um, appropriate follow-up. Can genetic testing predict the risk for complications? When the genetic cause of HCM was first identified back in the 1990s, there was great optimism that um, there would be just a small number of mutations that cause HCM and that each specific mutation might have a very characteristic clinical signature. And so by identifying um, which mutation was present in a family, we would be able to very um, precisely map out what their prognosis might be. But unfortunately, the situation is a lot more complicated than that, and there are thousands of different mutations um, in uh, uh, you know, in a dozen different genes that are responsible for causing HCM. Um, each mutation um, typically only arises in or is seen in only one family or, per, or perhaps just a handful of families around the world. And the, the clinical outcomes are not that consistent. And so we really can't use the results of genetic testing to predict how any particular patient or family may do, except in very certain rare cases where there have been mutations which have um, occurred recurrently in different families um, and have had more consistent, um, uh, you know, usually serious outcomes. Outcomes. So if there is a situation where that specific mutation arises, sometimes we may have some insight into how a patient or family may do, um, but largely uh, we cannot precisely predict prognosis from the results of genetic testing. Will the result of genetic testing help determine the best treatment? Genetic testing can help us figure out um, what the cause of HCM is, but doesn't necessarily help us figure out exactly which treatments um, to use. Um, HCM is very variable in how it may uh, play out, both in any particular patient and also even within families that have the same underlying genetic mutation. Different family members can have very different clinical paths um, than each other. And so genetic testing usually does not help us um, uh, identify different treatment strategies for specific patients. What should I do if my genetic test is positive or negative? 
Well, there are two basic types of genetic testing that are performed um, to um, better understand HCM. Um, the first type of genetic testing that's done in a family um, is um, done to try to establish the diagnosis and to see if we can find the genetic cause of uh, HCM. And in that situation, uh, genetic testing is performed by looking for mutations across a broad variety of genes. Usually there are large gene testing panels that are used where um, up to a hundred different genes are included on the panel, including sarcomere genes, which are the most common cause of HCM, and a number of different genes that have been associated with um, HCM and other types of cardiomyopathy. So those genes are looked at base pair by base pair in the initial family member that goes forward with genetic testing to try to identify whether there's a disease-causing mutation in any one of those genes. And then once a disease-causing mutation is identified in an individual, that establishes um, their, um, the genetic cause of their HCM and allows us to move forward with predictive genetic testing in the family. And in that situation, it's a much more straightforward type of genetic testing where family me members that are at risk for developing HCM, because they're related to another person that has HCM, may, go, uh, may undergo a much more focused type of genetic testing where instead of looking across many, many hundreds of different genes, only um, the specific disease-causing mutation that was found in their relative is looked for. Um, and this to determine whether or not they have inherited that particular mutation. If they've inherited it, um, that's a positive genetic testing result, and they are at risk for developing HCM. We can't dis determine when it might develop or even if it might develop, um, because not every uh, mutation carrier ultimately develops HCM, but it does indicate that they are at risk for developing HCM and should be followed over time. If their genetic testing is negative, meaning they did not inherit the gene mutation that causes HCM in their family, then they are not at any increased risk for developing HCM. And in certain situations, we may be able to dismiss them entirely from further um, ongoing clinical screening. If I screen my child for HCM, are there risks if my child is found to have a genetic mutation? So negative genetic testing results means that after looking through a big panel of genes um, implicated in causing HCM or other cardiomyopathies or heart muscle disorders, no, um, no change in the individual's DNA was found that is thought to be capable of causing HCM. This does not necessarily mean that um, HCM is not present. It doesn't mean that um, the HCM in the family is not caused by a genetic um, change. It simply means that the genetic change is not in one of the genes that we know about, one of the, um, you know, one of the well-known players in HCM. Um, in that situation, the family should still may still be at risk for developing HCM and should still be followed uh, clinically with um, echocardiographic and EKG surveillance, particularly if there's a family history of HCM. Um, in the case of family genetic testing, if a known disease-causing mutation has been found uh, previously in the family and another relative undergoes uh, uh, directed family mutation genetic testing to determine whether or not they've inherited the family's mutation, if that testing is negative, meaning they did not inherit um, the family's HCM mutation, then that um, indicates that they are not at increased risk for developing HCM. And in some instances, if we are very confident that we have indeed identified the genetic cause for HCM in the family, that the individual with that who has not inherited the family's mutation may be dismissed from long-term um, clinical evaluation and screening. So some parents may be interested in, um, in trying to learn whether their children may be at risk for developing HCM by doing genetic testing to see whether that child has inherited the mutation um, that causes HCM in the family. There are several protections in place um, to um, help guard the rights of uh, individuals undergoing genetic testing. Um, one is the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, which was passed into law several years ago. And this prohibits any discrimination based on genetic information. And that genetic information can be anything from a family history of disease to the results of genetic testing. And that uh, um, and it protects against discrimination in areas of employment and in health insurance. Um, the Affordable Care Act also uh, somewhat extends those protections by um, prohibiting ins uh, insurance company, health insurance companies from discriminating based on pre-existing conditions such as HCM. So in those situations, um, patients and their families are protected um, from uh, 
discrimination if in I the screen my child for HCM, are there Protection risks if my child is found to have a genetic um, mutation? To the realm of life insurance and disability insurance. And in those situations, there's a potential for discrimination based on genetic testing. Um, it's hard to know whether this actually happens or not, but sometimes uh, people may feel more uh, reassured if they uh, secure um, long-term um, uh, life insurance policies for their children before embarking on genetic testing if the child is at the time healthy um, to try to make sure that the life insurance is in place before any results of genetic testing are, are known. What are sarcomere gene mutations? So sarcomere gene mutations um, are the most common cause of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, but are not present in every family. Uh, the likelihood of finding a, a, a mutation, and you know, typically a sarcomere mutation um, when undergoing genetic testing varies widely, um, anywhere from 20% to 60% based on whether or not there's a pre-existing family history of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So if we take all comers with a diagnosis of HCM who decide to pursue clinical genetic testing, about 30% of them will have positive genetic testing or informative results that we can move forward with to either understand um, the cause of disease or to help with predictive testing in the family. Um, but if there's no family history of HCM, only about 20% of the time will we get positive or informative genetic testing, meaning finding a genetic change that we're pretty confident caused HCM. But on the other hand, if the family has a history of HCM, that increases the likelihood that there is genetic disease present. And in that situation, about 60% of the time, we'll get a positive uh, result from genetic testing, um, meaning that we can find a change in the DNA of, that, of the individual that was tested um, that we think is quite likely to cause uh, their HCM. So the, we don't always um, learn the cause of HCM by doing genetic testing. Um, you know, whether or not genetic testing will be positive or informative really is, uh, uh, depends a lot on whether there's a family history of HCM present. But it really is the only way to be more definitive about what might have caused HCM and to have a path forward to being more definitive about which individuals might be at risk for developing disease.